Welcome to the old MCU crew. What did you think Whoa. so too? What what was that, Bronze? I caught we caught the end of the statement. Now you have to tell all. No? What stays off show stays off show? Oh, it's a s no, it's we were just talking about were how you gossiping? In the background. No, Bronze noticed something that I never noticed, because she's perceptive. Uh -huh. And I'm I don't pay attention to anything. We're both idiots, uh, yeah. Apparently that the background is an M? What? <laughs> nope, never mind. It's all you, Bronze. I don't, I don't, what do you nothing, mean the background's an M? Nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. Oh, you mean in the... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's on... Yes, that's on purpose. Yeah. Nope, throwing Bronze under the bus. Got no, for got some, for some reason, I thought you were talking about your background. Like your camera. But then it dawned on me that she can't see your background when, uh, <laughs> when the stream's live. So... That was a whole range of emotions. Look, it's Monday. Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. We got Hotel Bronze, <laughs> though. Coming in hot. Yes. How's the yes. old hotel, Bronze? What, what would you rate this hotel? Um. Well, right now I'm at my mom's house. I would, oh. rate, I would rate Hotel Mom at like... I would say it's 10 out of 10. She made me samosas and coffee this morning. Damn. What the um, fuck? That's like the best thing ever. It can't get better <laughs> than that at all. Wait, yeah, we're on speakers, yeah. aren't we? We can't cur I shouldn't cur Is Can your mom hear this right now? First of all, my mom's super chill and she cusses a lot. Okay. All right. Second of all, she's out for a walk because she's healthier than I am. Man, so. your mom, she made you mimosas and then went for a walk. Your mom's killing it. Crushing yeah. It. No, my mom is. Like I need to, she coming hanging out with her made me realize I like need to get my shit together. <laughs> as as moms do and should do. That's generally uh, that's how that goes. Jesse, yeah. you have some. You, you look like you're about to say something. I, I just had a question. Is it mimosas or samosas? What did we get today? I didn't hear correctly. Samosas. There's a difference there. Wait, you don't want to drink hold on. a samosa. What's the difference between a samosa and a mimosa? JP, you've never had a samosa? I've probably had a samosa, but I, I don't know what the difference is, is what I'm telling you. I, it's not that I don't know what they are, but what's the difference? So I, maybe I a guess I don't know what they are. A samosa is like a deep what fried. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, um, how do you just, how do you describe it, Jesse, in like Caucasian well, I mean, terms? One, I mean, the easiest way is one is a drink and one is a food. So See, like, I that's both the, thought they were drinks. That is the easiest See, way so to do it. Jesse knows where my head's at. Cause I'm I'm over here thinking, <laughs> yeah. oh, they're both drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know where JP's coming from. He's thinking it's like, oh, well, okay, so maybe not orange juice. What else is it? Yeah, there? No, no, I'm no, thinking no. like, why? Well, I guess you take the OJ out. Yeah. No, no, no. One is a delicious like pyramid of deep fried goodness. Okay. And the other is booze and orange juice. So, like, you know, wait, I probably, I had to have had a samosa. You definitely, if you've ever eaten Indian, ever, you oh, definitely yeah, have had yeah. samosa. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was going to say, with how much well, now I'm even more upset because I thought you were getting drunk, but you were getting fried food, and that's better. <laughs> it is better, <laughs> admittedly. That's better. It's better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, I would say it's more lit. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, if I was a younger person, I'd say it's more lit too. Yeah, that's that's what I would go with. <laughs> Anyways, glad you're safe and sound eating the samosas and not drinking mimosas here on Monday. That would be a crazy way to start out the week. Jesse, how are oh, you? That'd be a great way to start the week. It'd be okay. Me? It'd be okay. Jesse, what are all those cameras used behind you for? Uh God, we filmed a thing the other day for Patreon where I unboxed an Elden Ring box. Oh, and we okay. uh shot a branded thing the other day okay. for 
A brand. Uh, our good friends over at yeah, a brand. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to promote them on here. Our good <laughs> friends over at a brand, and uh, yeah, and so we were doing a whole thing back here. Okay, all right. Uh, I just yeah. always see him shooting the table, but never at you. It's never at for you. my OnlyFans account, and trust me, when I get on that table, <clears throat> it is all spread eagle shots. Okay, that's the when money. you get on the table, it's all on the table. Everything's on the table. I don't do on the floor seductive poses i need a height you need a i table. need to be like off the ground yeah yeah it's like a, a thing of mine it's like what i'm known for do you green screen off the, the ground eroticism do you yeah. like key the table out <laughs> so i'm just floating yeah yeah <laughs> quite often yes that okay. is I mean, absolutely that seems what on I do. brand that seems on i brand. green screen the table and then i do superman poses but like erotic superman got it got it that you know makes sense. it's what i'm known for yeah makes the only fan spaces guys i made the mistake last night of realizing that I had to watch five hours of Iron Fist beginning at nine. Oh my God. Choice. You watch five episodes? So I booted up Elden Ring and I hit play. That's your problem. And then five, five hours later at 2 a.m., I dragged myself to bed. I was just pissed. I was just upset. You know, I just. Can I tell you the real, the, the real truth, JP? You could have come here, made up anything about the last five episodes. And here's the thing. I would probably still believe you because I'm not even sure what I watched. Yeah. I my notes literally I wrote down, did that man just say, Oh Danny boy? That's yeah. all that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Is yeah. that yeah. could have been any show. It was insane. Yeah. Insane. It's uh we'll we'll get to it soon. There there's a little bit of news here on this Monday morning. It's mostly just uh people saying that they're not in Doctor Strange. Like Patrick Stewart was asked about uh his uh, role in the MCU. Why well, they got to make that man lie like that? And he simply responded. <laughs> Why they got to do that to him? Here's, here's the thing. His response is like, I can picture Patrick Stewart saying this with all of the uh, voice inflection that he has and the the mannerisms that Patrick. He simply responded, who's Doctor Strange? That's all I said. Yeah. That's yeah. all I said. That's... <laughs> Pretty apt. I just wandered onto set one day. <laughs> so, did, you know what's crazy? That means he, they didn't even make him lie. He's probably <laughs> like, I'm just playing the old man card and pretend like I don't know. And then for all we know, maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he's like, I was in some movie with some Benedict. Don't Humber Gwyneth Bunch. Paltrow him. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that to poor Patrick. <laughs> don't make him Gwyneth Paltrow. I, yo, I was that, like, what? Do you know Sebastian Stan uh -huh. has had to reintroduce himself to Gwyneth Paltrow three times? Yes. Yep. I've heard that. I've heard about that. I've yeah. do that with plenty of celebrities. Yeah. He <laughs> keeps saying, oh, who's that? And people keep having to tell her, that's Winter Soldier. Yeah. And, and she's like, oh, we weren't in a movie together, though. And they're like, okay, but like, you've met him. Yeah. Like, Four times he's come up and introduced himself. So I that's feel like not, she's on a different on level. She probably is. She probably is. It's uh, all the essential oils. Yeah, yeah. Patrick Stewart went on to say, uh, you know, people have been imitating my voice ever since I came on the stage 60 years ago, so I can't be held responsible for that. <laughs> no one is imitating old Patrick Stewart. That's never, it's like he, his, his like, I'm an old dude voice is very unique. If they, if it turns out that there's some actor in this movie that is just like, I've chosen to do a 80-year-old uh, Patrick Stewart. You're out of your mind. Pat, we got you. We got you. <laughs> so, I is, refuse to let him get one over on us. I, I, refuse. I, was, I refuse. I was reading the further quote. Um, he said, uh, quote, here's the problem. If we had not made Logan, then yes, I would probably be ready to get into that wheelchair one more time and be Charles Xavier. But Logan changed all that. Here's a tiny anecdote. The first time that Hugh Jackman and I saw the film in public was at the Berlin Film Festival, which is where the movie premiered. Shortly after Xavier's spoilers, shortly after Xavier's death scene, I found myself getting very emotional. I had to keep uh, a hold of myself because we were sitting in the middle of the cinema. And then I saw Hugh's hand come up to my eye, up to his eye and wipe away. I thought it was uh, my eye, but it was his eye and wipe away a tear. And I thought, damn it. The buggers crying, oh, let it out, Patrick. <laughs> I love that that's his Can internal we... monologue. <laughs> Time out. 
Can we just establish here that JP in your mind? I thought you Hugh. Had Hugh Jackman. Yeah, that's what I was. And Patrick thinking. Stewart sitting next to each other, and Patrick Stewart was like, "Don't let it out, Patrick. Don't let it out." And Hugh Jackman was like, "It's okay, Patrick." And yeah. like wiped away his tear. Are you kidding me? That's a better that story. That is a fan fiction waiting that's to happen. That's a better story. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, Patrick. He's in that movie though. There's no way. One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. A couple other. Uh, I don't know. I'm having doubts now, though. Well, that's that's them. That's them. That's them getting to you. You doubted yeah. the Spider Man. Like, stuff, why would that he was tell all that long? Why would he tell that long anecdote about how the death of Xavier meant so much to him, and then be like, "Just kidding, I'm in the movie." Because he's in show <laughs> business, man. That's what he does. <laughs> Marvel he probably is, said, fact. "Don't fuck this up. You're a goddamn legend, Patrick Stewart, but don't fuck yeah, this up." Like, then the mouse walked just away. professional lying. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah. You're just pretending. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, Bruce Campbell uh, said that he's going to be in the movie because it's a Sam Ra- uh, Raimi joint. So, of course, he's going to be in the movie. Uh, and that he is uh, playing a, quote, beloved, end quote, character, which I have no idea what that means. Time out. Time out. Look, <laughs> what if... <laughs> it's so dumb. What if he's just playing Bruce like uh Ash? What if he's just playing Ash? I don't know how that would work. He do you think he's going to play uh, Here's the thing. When he says beloved character, I n- automatically think of the fact that Marvel always does this with that like, "Oh yeah, uh, uh, Paul Bettany was talking about like playing with his favorite actor and it was himself." <laughs> do you think it's going to be Bruce Campbell just as the like guy who was taking tickets in the spider-man he's the doorman he's like shh the show has already started the performance has already started or whatever do you think that's what we're gonna get could be it's like a one-off random scene where he's like the performance has already started i don't know i don't know what he's gonna be playing it'll probably he's be the usher uh, oh my god yeah i hope he's not like a well i would love for him to be a actual like character with a role but I do kind of hope it's just like a doorman or something, right? Yeah. Like something much easier to digest. Because that movie's already going to be a lot, I feel. And yeah, Bruce they're is- not going to be like, oh, no. Uh, Bruce, Bruce Campbell's Campbell Iron is- Man. <laughs> I was about to say, is Iron Man. I was like, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. That would be kind of crazy. And a little bit much. A little bit much. Did, by the way, uh, jumping back to Iron Fist, did you guys see the... Um, now I'm blanking on... Uh, who's the guy that's in every Marvel movie that I'm... Stan Lee, did you see the Stan Lee reference in Iron Fist? <laughs> I def- uh, who's that guy? I had to walk through uh, the Marvel, The Marvel guy. Who's the, uh, the Marvel guy? It. I had to walk through it. Did you see the Stan Lee reference in Iron Fist or no? I don't remember it, no. It's really weird shot. Uh, it's when Danny and uh, Colleen are running away. Or maybe it's with uh, Rosario Dawson's running away. They're on the street, and there's like uh, they're walking away from the camera and the camera focuses off of them and onto a bill like a, a signage a poster right next to him and it's his face and that's it that's the reference he's not even in the actual movie as an actor that would explain why i don't remember it yeah it was very brief and i don't know how i caught it because i was literally probably fighting a boss uh in elden ring and i just glanced over and said, oh it's stanley that's yep, weird anyways let's go back <laughs> <laughs> some more to drink. So, uh, what else do we have? Hey, that final Morbius trailer is out. Either of you watch it? I, I did. Can I tell you something? Morbius, not interested. Saw this trailer and I was like, oh shit. Oh god, they get, they cut a good trailer. It's a good trailer. Bronze fell asleep, but it's a good trailer. Oh yeah, bronze is gone. I just realized that. Yeah. <laughs> is it a good trailer though? I'm oh, not gonna lie. Back. Zoomed in. There you go. I'm not gonna lie. I actually enjoyed it. I uh, I'm, I wasn't like too hype on Morbius, but like that trailer got me. I was like, okay. Here's the thing, though. I think it's ninety percent because Michael Keaton is half the trailer. Oh, he's in it. He's just like talking. What's I he bet doing? he is five minutes of the movie, but he is half the trailer. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It, it looks like at some point. Morbius goes to prison and meets with 
vulture question mark and they have like a conversation and scorpion about some maybe stuff. and he's like you're a bad guy Mobius. and he's like no he's like you're an evil man like that kind of stuff and i'm like i do love keaton what can i say so i don't know i have no so clue. how does how does that like how does that work Dude, none of it makes sense because they they're in different stuff. universes. Like they've straight up said that they're different universes. Completely. But... And there's stuff from both of the previous Spider-Men in this film. None of it makes sense. It's insane. Uh, unless Wait, and, both of the previous Spider-Men are in the film? Uh stuff from their universes. So there is like stuff from the Raimi-verse and stuff from the Sony-verse that are in this film. And everyone's like, what is, so either it's currently in the MCU and people are like hype up on the fact that there were three Spider-Men at one point, or like, I don't, I don't know. None of it makes sense. They'll look at the, when people deep dive the trailers, they're like, well, this thing's from this universe and this thing's from this universe. This makes, don't know what it means. Couldn't tell you unless they're just being real lazy with it. I have no clue. Well, uh, I don't think Sony cares I think a, I, mean, I think a statement that that makes a lot of sense is Sony doesn't care as much as Marvel does about the continuity of their films. They just are cashing in on. I mean, the way I look at it is, and maybe it's a disingenuous look. They're just cashing in on Spider Man. That's all this is. That's all these like fringe characters are. Venom and they're just you know raking. They're they're <laughs> making the money off of the Spider Mans, uh, and more power to them for doing it. Whatever. Um, but with that said, like. I don't think they care if it doesn't make sense. They just want to get people to go watch, uh, you know, a fringe character like Morbius in the movies because of a five second reference or even maybe even showing up on screen with Spider-Man in it. And that's it. So, yep. I, are either of you going to go see it? I mean, I'll go see it out <laughs> of sheer curiosity. Yeah. Bronze. Yeah, no, I'm going to go see it for the same reason I saw Venom, which is just, yeah, sheer curiosity, like needing to know how much of a shit show it is. Okay. I don't think it's going to be good, but I, do, but I don't think a film has to be good to be entertaining. I 100% sure. think it could be an absolute dumpster fire and that I could still step away and be like, that was a good hour and a half that I wasted, you know? Sure, sure. That makes sense. Uh, do either of you have tickets for Batman? Are you going to go see Batman in theaters? Uh, definitely going to go see that. Super hype. That's I'm great. pretty hyped for it. I don't know if I want to go to, to theaters, though. Is it on HBO? Yeah, I'm kind of in the 30 same days spot. after I, or something I, like that. It'll be on HBO. What were we going to say, Bron? Yeah, Sorry, I, I cut you off. No, you're fine. I can tell that I'm, like, lagging a little bit because I'm on mom internet. Um, <laughs> and moms don't understand understand internet speeds um but but i can hear you in real time even though there's like a delay with my camera and my mic Good. um so with i don't know i think i'll wait until after it comes to tv but some of that's because i'm on set so like i don't want to like go to a movie theater and get like a bunch of people sick or something like that so yeah i'm gonna like wait just because i have to be like extra careful right now that makes sense. Otherwise, I think I'd probably go like right away. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. I'll I'll probably wait for the uh, the HBO release. Even though I think Suicide Squad coming out on HBO was like a fucking mess. I think this will be like two to three times the amount of people <laughs> trying to download and utilize that app, and it will be a even bigger mess on launch. So we'll see. Uh, we'll oh see yeah, I forgot. It had like major slowdowns, didn't it? Yeah. It, it had some big issues for sure, but it was only like the first day or two uh, or maybe the first weekend when it came out. And then I think it, it's, it stabilized after that pretty quickly. They, they figured out they just need more, needed more servers. So uh, moving along in the news, apparently Anthony Ramos, uh, who was in uh, the lead character in, in the Heights, I believe, and also in Transformers uh, Rise of the Beast. I think he's starring in that. That's obviously not out. Uh, he's going to be playing a villain in Ironheart coming up here mm -hmm. pretty soon. Um, people are thinking that he will be 
They don't actually say who he's going to be. They just said he's uh, reportedly... Is, who's the villain of Riri Williams? I don't even... I don't know anything about Riri Williams or Ironheart, so I don't know who he could be playing. That's one of those fringe characters that I know nothing about. Who is this actor? I'm sorry. Anthony Ramos. He was in uh, in The Heights, which was... Uh, I'm trying to think what else he would know. Ah, probably. okay, okay. I know he was in Hamilton. Is. Um... He's in A Star is Born. I'm trying to see. Uh, obviously, Jesse, you would know him from Trolls World to uh, Tour or Step Up to the Streets. I mean, uh, both the, of those, yes. The 2008 absolutely. joint. So, Ironheart is a TV show, yes? Disney Plus show, yes. I mean, and I guess he's going to be a villain. They also had uh, the This Is Us actress, Lyric Ross, join as well uh, i'm not sure who she's going to be playing i'm trying to look at like potential characters that could be villains there's the problem is that there's in uh, the easiest one is, i'm trying to find his name there's a dude who um uh, i'm trying to like think of like m male villain there's a dude who is like an, it seems lame because he's another Tony Stark employee that's like, I'm angry at the world because of Stark Industries. Yeah. And that's a villain. And I guess that guy could be it. But that seems like it's been done before. And. They kind of did that know. in Spider-Man Far From Home. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's been done. There's another guy. Uh, and, and this is a guy I just found because I literally typed in Ironheart. Villains. villains okay here we go there's andre sims is the guy who i was thinking of okay uh disgruntled sabotage Stark employee. ai makes them go crazy former just yeah disgruntled but then like there's you know dr doom and so like that's not gonna happen <laughs> and then there's hijack which is a new mutant that appeared in atlanta he has the power to control machines oh i mean maybe that's it i don't know a mutant i don't know I don't know. Dominic Thorne, of course, will be playing Riri Williams for anyone wondering. Uh, there's but, Master of the World. The Master is a supervillain. Oh. Okay. The Master could be a guy. Midnight Fire? Nah. They're getting and everyone else the, looks like monsters and aliens and stuff, and I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, they're getting into the deep, deep cuts. For sure. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it might, <clears throat> even though it's been done, it might be another, like, I you have Stark Tech, but it should belong to me. It could be one of those things. Yeah, I don't know. Again, Bronze is right. It's been done, but I don't know. Maybe people learn to that. Maybe so. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I, it probably sounds like a little negative, but I'm just not. I feel like that show is like for a younger audience than me. Could be. You know, like, and I'm glad that like young, you know teen girls have this superhero but personally i'm like just not interested I, and i understand that that's a controversial take but for me it's like there's some characters you can put other people in the suit and it's fine but i just personally do not feel like iron man is one of those characters i understand iron heart is a separate character but i feel like the iron suit is the least interesting thing about yeah. these characters you know like, Miles Morales is a very compelling Spider-Man. You know what I mean? In a different way than Peter Parker is. And it made me interested in, like, Spider-Gwen. And I actually went and read other spider people. And I was like, yeah, no, these, these are actually, like, the, the spider powers are something that are, I feel like, really unique and different in whose story they kind of manifest in, right? But I just, I personally just don't think the Iron Suit is that what's the interesting part of Iron Man, you know? So like having read some of the Ironheart comics, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll watch this show, but I don't think I'm going to be like, I, I do think it's geared towards like a younger audience. Sure. And I understand that Miss Marvel is too. It's just Miss Marvel is a story that's relatable to me. So I think maybe that's why I still click with it, even though it's like, I feel like they, those imprints of, of um, characters are like for young to bring like young people in. 
since we're boomers and our superheroes are old now. It's true. It's true. We're hyped for Patrick Stewart uh, being Patrick Stewart on set. So, yeah, <laughs> we are indeed boomers. Uh, we'll see Riri Williams slash Ironheart in uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever uh, as she is going to be in that film in some capacity. So we'll see how that goes when that comes out. Uh, and then we've got Moon Knight in full swing right now. The marketing has been uh, pumped up as that's coming out at the end of the month. They've got new merch. It's always the merch. The merch always gets us. Uh, but they're not really any crazy spoilers. They just look badass. It looks like the film is going to rely heavily on uh, the multiple personalities of Mr. Knight and Moon Knight. Uh, we can see this shirt right here, which I think looks pretty badass. Kind of into it. Uh, I would. That shirt would be amazing if they just removed the text. The text. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I think that's like, for some reason, that's, that's really stupid. Everything else about that would be great if they just took the text away. Yeah. Uh, they also have a couple other suits. That's uh, Mr. Knight, like with his uh, his night his night sticks, his batons or whatever, and it just says Mr. Knight above that. There's one that says Summon the Suit, which I think is real fucking bad. Uh, <laughs> there's one uh, another name of Moon Knight is the Fist of Vengeance, and he's got uh, he's like rushing towards the screen. This one's a little bit weird. They kind of have like all the taglines of Moon Knight, and they made it into a shirt. I don't know. What do you what do you guys think about this? The, the, the text is kind of rough. The one you see coming is really dumb. <laughs> the one no. you see coming sucks. That no. sucks so bad. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. That's the a one hard you see task. Coming. <laughs> Especially the forced hieroglyphs in the background that aren't yeah. you can barely see and aren't really it's kind of that, that's ugly. That's a pretty lazy that design. That looks like something somebody made to sell bootleg at the free market, like in one of those mall kiosks, and you know it's not first, like you know, you know it's not licensed <laughs> by Disney. Sure, that's what that sure. looks like. Yeah. I would, in fact, if you went back to that last image, if it was one of those like fairground spray paint shirts, it would actually be better. Those ones that's <laughs> like. They you like like yeah 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 come back in fifteen we'll have the shirt ready and they just like spray it on that's exactly what that shirt that shirt would be better that way this like there's another one yes 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 or even better that's what you see I don't know if they do this anymore it has been literally a decade plus since I've been to a fair but remember how they used to sell mirrors and then they and, and instead of being able to see yourself the mirror would have like an image on it. Oh, and the yeah. outside would still be the mirror, and they were like, I don't know, maybe this big. Uh, that's exactly what that would be on. The one you see coming, and it's like on a mirror. Of course, that's what that would be. <laughs> they also have a version that says "Summon the suit that looks pretty similar. Yeah, yeah. They they have a lot of the like text versions, which trying to find know. anything that looks good. Like this one looks all right, I think. I'm kind of into this one. It does say night, though. On both sides, if you look at that, the text is kind of Yeah, weird. again, again, they don't need like to do like the to faux. Explain too much. Yeah. 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 You don't need to explain it. Like, I don't. Yeah. I feel like it's like for people that don't know what Moon Knight is, but that's not who's buying your merch, Disney. The people buying your merch are like into the show and get it. You don't need to write, oh, see, Knight is Mr. Knight. It's the same guy. And so that's why the text. Is reversed there to see on the bottom it says Mister on the top it says Moon and the night you can read right side up and upside down even though it's a very difficult to read font because when you're doing a headstand really the same person <laughs> and they're not they're not different people it's the same person and it's like yes but the people buying your shirt know that yeah this is <laughs> like, uh, look at this is look by at the this way, bootleg this one Moon Knight merchandise from Red Wolf so. I don't know if Red Wolf look is at, like a third party merchandiser or what, but yeah. Look at the bootleg one I sent you from Redbubble. Some fan made this. This is better than Where'd what we've seen it? so far. Oh, uh, just it, a normal chat. Better than what we've seen so far. It actually looks like a shirt that I'd be like, oh shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's great looking. Like that's super. It looks cool. like his stomach's missing though. <laughs> 
which is I mean, I can cool use, I can use that. I could I could I could really use that. Yeah. Yeah. That looks cool. I'd buy that. You said that's on Redbubble. That's just like a fan made one. Just a fan Redbubble thing. Pretty I don't good. know if I'd get the like black sleeve bit, but like, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Oh, that's a moon. Cool. Yeah, it's sweet. not bad at all. Well, we'll see. Uh, we got about thirty days till that launches, and we've got let's see, twenty two days till oh. Spider Man No Way Home comes out on digital. Oh my god, JP, yeah, it's coming out. What's that? What do you? Oh my god! Look at this one's. This one's even better. Oh, this did is, you find more merch? Look, look, look at this is again totally unofficial. This one's. It uses the space and the white of the shirt. Come on! This, it's so easy to make these. How are they? This. That does look, look at this. Better. Yeah. Look at that. Fantastic. That white shirt, good. white cape. Mwah, perfect. Good. Easy. Look good how easy shirt. that is to make. It's true. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, anyways, are, are you guys gonna buy the old uh, the old Spider Man on the twenty second? I think I'll probably watch it again. I'll probably grab that film, see it again at home. I don't buy movies, so really, you only watch them on like streaming platform. You don't. Yeah, what was the last, what was the last any... movie you bought? Uh, the I, the last movie I bought was uh well that's a lie i probably bought something for like a podcast or but only at, like you <laughs> know the last on amazon you or bought something. for you for me physically yeah uh the year 2000 maybe it was the year 2000 i bought the rock on dvd and watched it was the only movie i owned and i watched it every weekend in college <laughs> for four years okay uh because i loved that movie and uh and then at some point i gave it away because i was like i don't <laughs> i don't need this anymore i think it was when blu-rays were a thing i was like well i can't even like eh, i'm fine and uh yeah i don't own the all i i do have that's a lie someone once gave me the complete collector's edition of all the the batman movies nice but that was a gift okay that was a gift okay. so like i don't <laughs> i don't really oh that's a lie i bought cowboy bebop on blu-ray the like the collection, 50th, the eight thousandth anniversary or whatever it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bronze, what was the last movie you bought? Physical movie. I buy movies all the time. I think it, uh, it's it's either one of two cases. Either there's an extended edition like thing I want to see, kind of like with Lord of the Rings, where it's like, oh, but I want to see the three hour version of the director's cut. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. the second movies I buy a lot are like. If I'm not sure, I don't trust that they're going to be on a streaming service or if they're not on a streaming service. Usually it's fucking A24 films. So like sure. Minari and Green Knight. I, I bought those because I was like, where the fuck? Up? Like if they're not, a, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're not on HBO and stuff like that. And if they are, they're never up there for long. Yeah. I'm like watching Minari trying to find it and get it was such a pain in the ass. I was like, I'm just going to buy this movie because I love Steven Yeun and I love this movie. But I was like. The, yeah, so it's it's usually things that I've and and anime because I'm like you can't trust that it's gonna be on the the website forever because Netflix has taken up and put down or on High School Host Club so many times and I'm like well I need to rewatch that at least once a year. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah, sure. I'm not a weed. Yeah, no, 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 not no one's implying that you are. No one. Yeah, not. You don't have a crunch but I subscription need to watch or anything. Once a year. And so, therefore, I had to buy it. So, there was a time where I was buying pretty much any big movie uh, in 4K to have a physical copy because, like, a 4K Blu ray looks so much better than a streaming service does, just bit rate wise. Um, and I still do that with most like MCU films, but I've stopped buying most. Uh, I don't buy like whatever the big Oscar flick is uh, that year. I just, uh, I need you to know that, uh, bronze a24 films have been ruined for me simply because now all i think of is uncut jams and uh i need everyone to know that that is my favorite meme ever uncut i was his muse on uncut jams that uh, shit is hold on what's that i don't understand i've never seen the woman, uncut gems do i need to have so seen the woman uncut who gems? used to date the woman who used to date connie i have it is a movie that is like it's an anxiety entirely 
It's very anxi- I remember being in the theater and there was an old couple in the front row that got up halfway through the movie and they're like, well, this isn't a funny Adam Sandler comedy and left. So like, <laughs> that's that's where we were. Did I'll never forget that. Look at preview. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's pretty but, uh, good. I kind of like that. They thought it was yeah. going to be funny in that movie. They thought it was going to be comedy. Yeah. Because I can't like, the best part is they said his scary ass face. The they sat through the whole scene where he's like in the closet that. and he's like, I'm gonna come. Like, I just want to say, they sat through the whole thing and then half of the movie they were just like, this isn't a comedy. And like, got up and left. Like, oh, got okay. It. Uh, and they were like really outraged. No, but so the woman who you, like, I guess, I don't know, two weeks ago was dating Kanye West. I have no clue. Um, okay. I guess they're broken up now, but she did an interview okay. where she was talking about all that stuff. And I guess the person she dated before Kanye was the guy who wrote, directed something, Uncut Gems. Okay. And she is asked about it. She's like, I was as Mills on Uncut Gems. And all I can think about is the way she says Uncut Gems. <laughs> uncut Gems. And it's become a meme now, and everyone just keeps saying it. And <laughs> all of A24 is ruined for me. Because I know, you know- somewhere there's like beautiful art being made and yet she's like i was the, i was responsible for Anka jobs i was like <laughs> i'll have to watch yeah. that interview <laughs> you're already pissing oh me off God. saying it so much and i feel like uh hearing it from her perspective what? is just gonna be like <laughs> i want a version where it's like i was responsible for the lot <laughs> <laughs> oh, i said make it one by one Black and white. Yeah. Oh, stop. Fourth, you know, fourth, fourth. stop. It, it, I love this mythos, though. Like, I feel like the legend of uncut gems just keeps growing. It's one of the most memeable films of all time. Like, I see gifts of it online constantly. The, the only meme of, I like, know is that Shroud uh, played the main character of the film, and that's it. <laughs> There's the one of yeah. the, the girl running down the street like terrified he's like running after her huh in uncut gems that i see a lot and then there's another one oh the gifts of adam sandler being like this is how i win i see that all the time like i feel like there it's is... super memeable uncut gems is a wild movie and the scene that i the only scene i remember because it comes out of nowhere is like the girl goes to the club sees the weekend and I guess they like she tries to sell him drugs or something in the club, and the weekend's like, "Yo, girl, let's get it on." She's like, "No, I'm in love with Adam Sandler." And then Adam Sandler's like, "Are you cheating on me with the weekend?" And it's it's the craziest movie I've ever seen. I have, and she's like, "No, I would never. I love you, Adam Sandler." And he's like, "You're cheating on me with the weekend." And the weekend's like, "Hey, I'm in this movie too. It's <laughs> crazy. I can't." Be- I sat there the entire time like, what is this film? Also, I would have left Adam Sandler for the weekend. I'm just saying. If I was there, that man looked like he was having a great time. And Adam Sandler was like, I got to get these. I got to get these gems. I got to get this money. I'm gotta, crazy gotta right cut now. Those gems. That's what that film's about. Yeah, those it gems. definitely was a, a weird film. It Sounds was a weird. It. It is certainly a weird movie. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that's all the news. That means it's Iron Fist time. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's Iron Fist time. Uh, uh, Season one is done. The uh, uh, the Netflix MCU films, or shows rather, not films, are being gone. removed from the service. They will be on Disney Plus, I believe, later this month, right before Moon Knight comes out. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that means maybe we'll you see some correct. of those characters. But regardless, we watched Iron Fist season one. Five episodes to talk about. We're not going to go through it chronologically. <laughs> Why not? I mean, we Why could. Not, JP? I, because the episodes blend together for me, so I'll, it'll be a hard time for me. Uh, Was it because you were playing Elden Ring at the time? 100%, yeah. 100%. No, it's because they're bad. No, Jesse, it's because they're bad. I, I don't know how JP made it through. My respect for this man has gone up threefold for making it through five episodes. In a row? I only had to watch... One and a half. It was one and a half. You didn't finish it? It wasn't even that late. It was only like midnight. And I oh, was oh, watching you it with finished my it, friend but okay. I did finish it. Okay. I was watching it with my friend Vicken. And I, sh- I shit you not. We're both like 
straining ourselves. I was not sleepy when I started without watching that film. <laughs> Straight, poking each other, straining ourselves to watch it. And at some point, he says, at this point, every time Colleen Wing says, talks about Danny's chi being broken, I feel my chi breaking. I was like, my chi is broken too, man. Watching this this show, like uh, the two hours of this show, my chi is broken. Uh-huh. Why is this a major plot point that Danny's chi is broken? Can your chi even break? I was, I was so, I was just sitting there like, they're breaking my spirit. <laughs> how, how do you reach the climax of a show three episodes before the finale? Explain that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> you're not I, I mean, I, was, I, I can't I have nothing to add to that. You're you're, you're are, not are you are you talking about like the literal fact that they had they had the tropey like in the rain fight? Yeah. And it's like you don't get it. The gate is open. You're not there to protect it. Like that. Oh my god. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is the perfect like they should have just ended it here and said it's like, no, there's we had a whole other like your dad's the one who destroyed my family's plane ward. And he's well, they like, had to get rid of him. Slow, slow down, Danny. What do you mean? My father is a bad guy? Yes, ward. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. They had some loose just, ends they had to, to clean how, up. Like, he has no growth. Like, Davos was acting his fucking heart out. I feel like so he, you, you're so right. He's he, literally like, I was on his side. He's like, I wanted to be the Iron Fucking Fist. You know, he I, was supposed to be the original actor, it. right? Like the original Iron Fist was Davos. That's who that was supposed to be. And they re, they didn't recast him, but they gave the part to Finn Jones instead. That's why he was that Davos was brought into the movie. He actually plays a much bigger role in season two as well. But yeah, he's Just a huge role. Kill in me. Two. Yeah. Just fucking kill me. Because he was a much better actor. I was on his side. Because he was, when he's, like, he was acting his fucking heart out. And when he's, like, standing there and he's like, you fucking stole it. And you left to come to this fucking festering shithole and left the people who raised you. He literally says that. He's like, you came to this rotting fucking city and left literal heaven and the people who raised you and you stole our greatest treasure and now the past is unfucking protected and you are a selfish bitch and Danny's just like I'm Danny Rand like he doesn't have an answer and I was like Davos he is fucking ass <laughs> no he I straight up says I'm a billionaire that I, or like I I I have a car and you don't or like what was the car conversation that one stuck out to me between him and Davos it was a, it was essentially or it was quintessentially uh, you know, Danny Rand being Danny Rand, but I don't know how Davos just didn't kill him right there. Like he should have the, just fucking stabbed the greatest, his neck. the greatest insult this show ever pulled is the fact that it is how many thirteen episodes? Thirteen episodes. Thirteen episodes long. Thirteen. Hmm. Ep- it needed. It could have been twelve. They were going to end it been. at the end of twelve, and they're like, "Wait a minute, they're coming." And then it just yeah, we got to go climb up a damn mountain. Yeah. No, like the, in thirteen episodes, the trick they tried to pull is we're going to make Ward a good guy and Joy a villain, right? And the story arc that gets us there. So I went, uh, I, I uh, watched the last episode. And I was like, I can't believe they just had a scene where Joy is like meeting davos to be like we need to take them out and then uh what's her face is sitting there like sipping tea like evil plan <laughs> oh yeah that was re- that was so stupid how would they that not see her is, how would they not see her jesse cox insane. she's literally, yeah, she's fucking literally like two one feet. table yeah, over she's one yes. table over that pissed me she's i like, watched Ooh. the end of that i like paused <laughs> elder ring i was like all right let's see the end of this because i remember it being real trash i watched that yeah. i'm like well this is stupid but then it got better the next scene. I'm I'm sorry to break into your point. I'll let you finish your point. <laughs> but but, the, but the, I was just like so dumbfounded. The last shots of that series are literally like, <sighs> we got to climb this mountain. And Colleen, come with me. We're gonna go to Kunlun. Let's do this. And then like green screen mountain climbing. And then they get there and they're like, oh no, it's already too late. Fist. 
End of series. No, no, no. And I was like, the, the oh, you're underselling the fist because he straight up out of nowhere just goes like this, <laughs> stares at his fist. And then they zoom in to the molecular level of his fist. And the screen just goes yellow. And then it ends. And you're like, what the fuck just happened? I was so upset. I did a spit I take so, on that. I had water in my I mouth. So and they upset. zoomed in on his fist. And I was like, oh, God, this is bad. That's what I'm saying. So, like, like, the, the, I the can't order get of operation. So the end of the Jesse. show. <laughs> <laughs> the order of operations i swear to god the end of the show was like danny you know i was wrong about you you're a good boy danny boy anyway let's run our company and then fucking uh carrie ann moss shows up and it's like oh well, here's how we're gonna resolve all the problems that happened don't fucking worry mama's got it figured out and i was like all right well at least someone understands how to run stuff in the city and then Ward's like, all right, what are you going to do, Danny? He's like, oh, <laughs> that's a really good Ward. <laughs> Ward, I'm obsessed with Ward because I hate Ward so much. But for some reason, I cannot stop thinking about Ward. Like, as a character. Because he got addicted to crack after having it one heroin, time. Heroin, heroin, not crack, heroin. Synthetic, Synthetic hand heroin. heroin. Thank yeah. you very much. That H-H. He, he is, he is like, the man has. No growth as a character, but they keep putting him in moments where he's like, don't worry, I shot my father. Like, wait, why did he get the final kill? He has done nothing to earn this. And they're like, well, my father was a bad man. And so now I got to be a good guy for season two. So and, and, anyway, so they have that scene. The next immediate scene is Joy at brunch with Davos yeah. in like a public setting and then she's just like oh, 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 oh my machinations are coming <laughs> <You know through." laughs> I'm like get the fuck out of here and then the immediate scene after that is like CGI climbing a yeah. mountain on a green screen <clears throat> and I couldn't like I couldn't believe what I was watching so I went to YouTube because YouTube is a wealth if you ever want to see Anyone react to anything MCU related? Holy crap! There's so oh, much of it on the internet. Fist I was reactions? like, I was like, I gotta go look up Iron Fist's last episode reactions. And the first one I watched, the dude literally just looking at the screen goes, "This is fucking stupid." <laughs> <laughs> I was not like, wrong. "Hey, well, the, all right. the even wilder thing, Jesse, is that this leads into the Defenders, right? No, and Madame Gao." Is in the Defenders as well as Bakudo. Madam Gal, that's her name. Yes. Yeah, yeah. As well as Bakudo and and Sigourney Weaver as well. Funny enough, if you've never seen it, is the best part of Defenders. Yeah, the she, best part. She plays down. the the head bad guy. Um, yeah, it, it, and it's just like chronologically, I don't understand how they went from that to Defenders and then go back to Iron Fist. I think they do like a six month. I think a six month uh, time skip or something is is Iron Fist first. What do you mean? What was the release? I, uh, what what came after Defenders? Was wasn't it? Uh, oh, Dare, I think Daredevil came out. Daredevil, Daredevil season three. Daredevil Cause had cause the whole the, like. Yeah, he's in the the, the church. Ron, have you have you never seen Defenders? No. I was about to say a spoiler, but I guess it does does not matter. Uh. Yeah, Defenders I mean, I'm going to be honest. Has a terrible after ending. watching, I think I quit this show the first time I attempted to watch after what? The first two episodes? The first episode? I don't know now because now I've watched it and I don't know where I ended last time. Yeah. And I tried to watch Defenders and I swear to God, every time I saw this dude's face, I just got fucking mad. And I'm saw a Finn huge Jones? Sigourney Weaver fan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was so upset. Like, because. He just upset me. I don't know why. Like, because I was like, how did you ruin one of the best? And like, this show had so much potential. And I get that the writing's bad, but he did not help. Well, he also he just, wasn't he important. Help. He wasn't important. He, like, this whole, the whole thing of him, like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm Danny Rand. I gotta, I'm the Iron Fist. I got to fight the hand, blah, blah, blah. No, it was Daredevil. <laughs> That's, yeah, he's the know, savior. <laughs> And put on Daredevil that I'm I might watch it before they pull it because the thing is is like at the time I feel like when Defenders came out, um, 
I loved Punisher. I loved Daredevil. At that point, Luke Cage, I believe, had already let me down. Yeah. I feel like Jessica Jones season two had already let me down. Probably. Iron oh, yeah. Fist at that point had already let me down. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stick to Punisher and Daredevil. And I'm not going to touch the rest of these three because I because I loved Luke Cage until like mid season season one. And then yes. everything after they that, I the best around character, and, and then it's got two. boring. You're right. That you yeah, and season two correct. didn't get better. Yes, it did not. Season two just the, the didn't MCU, get better. So like the MCU can bet uh, at least in the like TV verse is like Iron Fist is watching a spoiled rich kid with powers. That's not fun. Uh, Jessica Jones after season one was watching Jessica deal with her really shitty friends and family, which is not fun. Yeah. Uh, Luke Cage. Literally was like, yeah, he's so syndrome. strong, he kills off every single villain that is cool, and then just fucks his way around the MCU, and that's like his thing. And then uh, Daredevil was like, all right, Daredevil's great, so let's cram as much shit into Daredevil as we possibly can, because that's the one people are going to watch. And so it was like, every half season was like, all right, and we're doing another thing now, we're going to keep... It's Heard another so main character, much. here's Punisher, here's Elektra, here's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it was a lot. It was a lot. And I was like, oh, my God. I just, I'm still upset about it because there's so much to love about all those characters. Every character has something they could have done great with. And watching them squander it is so, like, 2010 WB level. Just <laughs> It's like Dawson's when I have level. friends describe to me, like, see what you don't get about Smallville. I'm like, oh, no, I get about Smallville. That sucked. Like, no, 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 no. Jesse, that wasn't good, 2010. Mike. That was 2000. Oh, I'm aware. I'm just bringing up Smallville <laughs> because I have a friend who's very obsessed with Smallville. No names, Davis. Very obsessed with Smallville. I think Dodger's and, uh, also like pretty big into Smallville as well. So yeah. I just can't. <laughs> it's, it's like a lot. It's like every WB show. They're like, oh, no. Have you seen uh, Green Arrow? I'm like, no. No, I haven't. Green Arrow. I can't bring is, myself to watch those. Is a it's it's okay. <laughs> I refuse to acknowledge that you know, that's true. I wouldn't say. You know it's what? Bad. What Iron Fist's biggest issue is now that I'm like kind of sitting thinking about. Well, it has like ten issues. Yeah, it's got a lot. Uh, let's yeah. be real. It needs a therapist. Yeah, it's like riddled with them. Yes. But one of the glaring ones to me when I think about like what worked with Daredevil. And what didn't work with Iron Fist is Iron Fist reminds me a, a little bit of a D and D campaign that's not good okay. because it feels like they feel like everybody needs to be in every episode and they have to figure out a way to involve them. They've got to figure out a way to keep Ward involved. They got to figure out a way to keep Joy involved. They got to figure out a way to keep these people these in normal the ass people somehow yeah. connected. To the plot the, but the, the thing is is that breaks reality when bakudo comes over to that penthouse and does all that mess with ward it's just so fucking stupid after the cool fight we had at the compound and it's because they're like well what about these characters they need to be they need to have some connection to the story daredevil doesn't attempt to do that uh, F foggy and um karen page are not in every episode they come yeah, in and out that's true they they make appearances throughout the season. Karen Page ends up becoming more connected to Punisher than I would say even to Daredevil, right? Yeah. But like their their arcs feel more natural because Foggy's not just in every episode like, well, I need a more solid connection to Daredevil. So I'm gonna go meet up with Kingpin and say, Hey, I'm selling them out. You know, like they don't they don't they're not they don't become at any point in time major characters. But Iron Fist does this thing. Where it's like, oh no, every character has to somehow become a major character. Even the way they use the night nurse. I feel like, I love Rosario Dawson. I love the night nurse. I feel like they overused her because they're like, well, clearly she has to go that, with us to China. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. why? That was why the would tie she go in. with China? That was the tie-in to like, the other Netflix shows. Was literally, she, she, Rosario Dawson like floats between all the, the shows. And that's why she was there. Even though she started in Daredevil as like, a central character in, in season one. Uh, again, again. But I'm not saying you're not wrong. You're totally right. Well, like, no, but <laughs> she ended up going there and just sitting in the car anyway. Yeah. Because she can't fight the hand. Yeah. 
you well, know, she like, kind of can. That... They, they, like, show her fight. They show her fighting, like, SEAL team members. <laughs> <laughs> she's a nurse, dude. She's a Which nurse. Was, well, she's the night nurse. It doesn't make okay? sense. She gets the claws. No, that's the main character doesn't make sense. in the comics. She, her existence is to patch up the superheroes. That's like in her the thing. shows. Yes, in the comics, she's straight up superhero. Doesn't matter. In the show, we got what we got, and yeah. we're also like, oh, but she can fight though. Like, no, let her just be a nurse. She who, she like, trained with Colleen for two up. two episodes, and then just like starts fighting. I always team members. like the idea. Of- of her being, I hated that they tried to make her into a fighting character. This, and I understand yes. like that's how it is in the comics, but like, yeah, I always love the idea of like, like normal people like are superheroes. The, you know, like her job is so difficult, and ultimately she has to deal with the fallout of the superheroes that she helps. They right. never do. She's the one who loses her job. She's the one who gets in trouble. She's the one whose family gets targeted and her friends die. And I always liked that she was like, it's like, no, she's a superhero. Like, yeah, Matt Murdock is a superhero, but so is so is this nurse who's literally putting her career and everything she owns on the line yes. to yeah. help yes. him. Like, she's also a superhero. She doesn't need to throw a punch or learn kung fu because her work is is valuable and she lost everything helping him. Yeah. You know, like that sacrifice that makes her a hero. I mean, the, so having her fly to China to sit in a car, I was like, she does, she doesn't need to do that. She's put in her time. It all comes down to the writing difference. Because even in Punisher, Rosaria yeah. Dawson's character, the night nurse, is just like better, right? Like that scene well, where yeah. she's getting the two uh, anti gang members or whatever in the hospital to like not fucking fight, or they're just yes. like that. Like that's a great scene, and it's just better writing across the board. Uh, well, there's, I mean. The problem is, is she's hers a, a character really they keep trying character. to like. They keep trying to include her in things she shouldn't be. Bronze is absolutely right, but that's the the curse of the entire thing. Yeah, and I keep thinking back to the fact that the in I don't know if it was in Luke Cage versus in Jessica Jones. It was in one of the two where like Luke and Jessica hook up, right? Yeah, and like oh okay, yeah, you know they're two superheroes and they're like gonna have like I think superhero that's Jessica sex, Jones like, okay, season two or something like that. Needless to Maybe say, one, when it comes around to like suddenly rosario dawson's like hooking up with luke cage like time out what are the rules here because luke and jessica they were hooking up because they can't break each other yeah but like rosario dawson this normal human is just like look i want some of that (laughs) i was expecting her to be like this was a mistake but she was like you're good luke cage and i was like what are the so like luke can just bang any and the pro the worst part is the fact that i'm thinking about superhero sex during the show, like, what is Luke Cage's rules? We should have this work? That shouldn't it's even come up in a show. The, it's the super It literally shouldn't it even is. come up It makes in a no show. sense. Yeah. You know what's crazy, though? We got a glimpse of what a good Rosario Dawson character could have done in this show. There's a scene to- in these, like, I think, oh, God, they all blur together for me, too, JP. In the last two episodes where Colleen and Danny are having this fucking unhinged conversation about how if Danny kills the dad, then his chi will be permanently broken. Yeah. And Colleen is like, I'm going to do it for you. And literally the night nurse is like, okay, how about like, instead of all that, we focus on getting this tablet that exonerates Danny. I was like, yes. thank you. And I, that's always been her role is like, okay, the y'all are fucking crazy, yeah. but I'm used to dealing with crazy people. Cause I'm a nurse. Hey, what if instead of whatever the fuck this is, we focus on clearing your name because the, y'all are talking about murdering people. And even with Madame Gao, they're like, you know, we, we should we should beat her. Someone else is like, no, we can't trust anything she says. We kill her. And and I love that Rosario's like, okay, let's like maybe not torture this old Asian That whole woman. scene was so weird, dude. They just like have Madame Gao like just... Just as a prisoner and like Colleen's dying slowly and Danny's doing, Danny just fucks off and leaves. And Rosario Dawson just like has long conversations with Madam Madam Gal. And that's it. Rosario's like, do you need water? Do yeah. you need food? That's and so I'm weird. like, th- that's what I think of when I think of the night nurse is like someone that's like, you people are insane. I'm going to at least do the bare minimum and be like, let's not beat up an old woman. <clears throat> yeah. and let's maybe offer her a glass of water. <laughs> like this is 
all the decisions being made are horrible. Yeah, it was, it was. It, you know, it was bad on the first watch, and I can't believe I watched it a second time. That's that's those are my takes on it. I think Jesse's doing some reporting, some investigative journalism. Oh, over here. I, I had to go. I had to go back because there was a scene because you were you were talking about. Uh, I I you know what I messed up the ending of this show. I am so embarrassed. What do you mean? So embarrassed. All right, here's the real order of operations for how this wacky ass well, show also, ends. Also, we we forget the fact that he just blows up a skyscraper, entire floor of a skyscraper, and like no one bats an eye at that. Like <laughs> we skipped past that CGI moment. So, at the end, uh huh, the last five minutes of this show, uh huh, they do the eagle landing one more time just to signify that hey, remember that eagle? Remember that was a thing that yeah, occurs that's the in this bird show that uh, that got him, you know, got him through it. Yeah, the eagle lands, and then it cuts to Danny and Ward watching the dad burn. Yeah, and yeah, it's like more face watching him on fire. I yeah. forgot that that. Oh my god! Because they, they have and, to keep and, him dead. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So they definitely watch him burn, and then the crazy thing is, is at I forgot that the scene where they watch him burn is where Carrie Ann Moss shows up there. Yes. I thought it was in the office. She walks in like, all right. So let's talk business. There's a man burning behind them. Anyway. Then the next immediate also, scene. This is wasn't the whole rule that he has to have his head cut off. Yes. Am I insane? He's a zombie. Like, wasn't that the whole canon? That it was is. like yeah. the whole canon thing. Yeah, because yeah. they like, just throw them back in the pot, and the pot makes him crazy. Yeah, the pot shows up in Defenders. They show you how the reincarnation stuff works because uh, they get uh, Nobu or whatever his name. But they no, so, no, but, they burned them. It's, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, it's you have to like straight up destroy well, the body. Just figured that out. Yeah. Like it's it's so Bakudo makes this whole plot point of like, well, at least now you know how to destroy your father. And it's like, well, what are the rules here? Is it just decapitation? Is it incinerating them? Is it electrocution? There, is it? There are no rules. No rules. Just right. Outback State Council, whatever <laughs> the thing is. All I'm saying is. The reason why I looked this episode up is because you were talking about Colleen and Rosario. Like so at the end, I forgot there was a scene that occurs before the whole, like, we're climbing a mountain. And it is Night Nurse and Colleen training. fighting, like, yeah. training. And because he has learned nothing, Danny walks in. Like, hey, stop training. Danny's here. Okay, so I have a bunch of story stuff I need to tell you about. Also, man, I think I'm over this whole New York thing. And they're just like, we were in the middle of a session. And then because I think... Night Nurse knows, like, this guy. She starts putting on her clothes, getting ready to leave. They were in the middle of training, and during the course of the scene, she starts putting on her clothes. She goes and gets she's the like knuckles. She's, like, covered in sweat, the, the... and she's like, F it, I'm out. I got no she time grab... for this. She goes and gets her claws, yeah. yeah. So funny. I can't believe, like, she's like, ugh, I'm out. Okay. It's bad. And it... that's, uh, yeah, that's how that show ends, is everyone's just over Danny. <laughs> now, for how horrible... Just how utterly fucking horrible this show has been. I hope us dunking on it has at least been entertaining for you, chat. Like, please tell me some, please, for the love of God, tweet me because I can't read chat right now with my mobile setup and let me know if, please, some good had to come of this. Like, reliving here's this monstrosity of evil. I think here, most people just want to bloom it on really. Yeah, here, here's the, uh, the, real, the real deal about Iron Fist. Season two is is worse but it's also better it's, how does it get how could it but it's possibly also get worse than what it is it's yeah, also i was about better. to say jp it is way worse but way more entertaining yes it, it goes it realizes that it can be entertaining by being awful the first season is just awful and it's not that entertaining season two yeah. they're just like oh we can just like continue being fucking awful <laughs> But it's season like, two is actually two really is fun to watch it's not good it's like watching the room it's like not good but you're at the end you're like i'm glad i watched that that was yeah weird here's the thing yeah. in season two uh uh what's his name the other iron fist guy that shows up the other guy from um uh, kung lao or whatever uh davos. Kung Lung, yeah davos he becomes the iron fist yeah that makes a whole sense. arc We're, yeah, Danny. That Danny loses sense. the Iron Fist, and he becomes it pretty early you also, on. You also see like 
their backstory of how they train and like yeah davos kicks the shit out of danny repeatedly yeah, he, he beats the fucking shit out of danny multiple he, he times. really should have been the iron fist he's yeah. right yeah yes. i i would watch season two just to see that just to see davos kick his ass when i was watching my friend Vic and the funniest thing he said also watching this with a friend does reduce the psychic damage dealt I will say that because then your feelings feel validated. Yeah. Because you look over and you're like, is this really happening? Yeah. And he was like, I think my favorite part of this entire show is when they show you what you could have had. You could have had. When they show Bakudo showing the video oh, of the yeah. real Iron Fist yeah, yeah, yeah. to this fucking poser. And he's got both fists fired up. He's beating the shit out of all these fucking, you know, like infiltrators whooping the hell out of them in the 70s or whatever yeah. he's like they, they literally show you like this is what you could have had instead you have this whiny ass fucking rich kid that's like i have <sighs> the fastest cart in the village now don't i davos and you're just like you just saw a video of somebody that that you could have been and instead this is this is what we fucking have is, yeah. is you that can't even yeah half of the moves it, the, the the fighting in this show is so utterly bad the cuts but what's are even terrible. worse like the complete lack of forward growth the the complete lack of just like like being confronted with like okay are you gonna choose between all of this materialism and doing your duty as the iron fist he never has that moral conversation of like what does it truly mean to be the Iron Fist? Is it just destroying the hand? Is it protecting the weak? He's just like, at this point, his name sounds just so strange to me because he says it so many times, like, I'm Danny Rand. Like, by the end of the show, I was like, what is that name? Danny Rand. Danny Rand. Like, it sounds so <laughs> horrible. Rand Enterprises. We have to get back Rand. We got to get Rand. This is about Rand. The hand is in Rand. The hand is in Rand. Like, you know, the, I was like, this at the end of it, I was like, every time he says, I'm Danny Rand, I'm like, this doesn't even sound like a word or a name anymore. It's just so you've, you've turned it into a fucking joke. The entire basis of the show is his name, essentially. And what does it mean to be a Rand? And by the end of the show, he doesn't even answer that question. Sure. He literally doesn't answer. What does it mean? Does it mean uplifting your community? Does it mean shutting down corruption where it is? Does it mean destroying the hand? Because from beginning to end, he's still obsessed with the fucking hand. But then he says, the Iron Fist is more than just destroying the hand. Well, then what is it? Mr. Aston Martin? What the fuck is it? <clears throat> Danny Rand, all he does is put the ass in Aston Martin because he's a fucking gade de pooch. I hate that bitch. I hate that bitch. You're getting hotel bonds. I hate him with my whole heart. I would train in a monastery for 30 years just to whoop his fucking ass. You go hang out with the thunder. Take your shit in his Aston Martin. Because fuck that entire character. I would I would get a job God, at Rand so Enterprises. Much in the comics, just to take man, a dump so on his desk. The desk his father left him because fuck him and fuck his whole family. The, <laughs> the the comic Iron Fist, I've I've watched uh or I've read a little bit of it. He he's like a legitimate badass. And I don't know how they fucked that up. Like, I don't know how that didn't get conveyed to the show. It's so e like, it would have been so easy. Would have been so easy. They didn't even give him the costume. <clears throat> they just got a light. They like dyed his hair. They, uh, Justin Timberlake, his hair from the NSYNC, <laughs> NSYNC days. <laughs> and like, that's supposed to be the costume with like the yellow ever give bandana him thing. <laughs> And Justin Timberlake his hair. Now I can't unsee it. You're right. They did do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, they tea like that. Yeah, they actually no, no. no. They ever actually give him the outfit in the series? No, he never gets the, he, he gets a, he gets like a yellow jumpsuit with like black uh, stripes on the side, if I recall. Whoa. No. In season in season two, he has a hoodie, a green hoodie. Oh slash yeah, he starts wearing that hoodie. Mask ensemble. That's right. Yeah. He starts wearing the hoodie and the mask. You know why they did that? 
because it was easier to hide the fact that it wasn't that it wasn't him. It wasn't <laughs> Finn Jones doing the sure, stunts. sure. That's why because they yeah, they wanted I'd to do that. less cuts in the action scenes, and so they did that so that they could put someone else in the quote unquote costume to do the like fighting aspect of the stuff. So, yeah, that's the entire reason that. It is. <laughs> I, oh, there is a you scene in like season two where he wears like a whole. Uh, it's not the whole outfit it's like a he's yellow jumpsuit right no he has the the yellow mask but he's wearing like a white outfit let me see do you have the image that you can you're looking at sure 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 is this thing it looks fake i, I could be I, I could be lying to myself this looks fake <laughs> wait are you looking at the entertainment weekly article I think so. this is what I have, and I refuse to believe this is real. I don't think that that's a real image that happened. That's what I, yeah, 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 that's what I, uh, I, I feel that like real? that is fake. Does that I happen like that's in? Fake. <laughs> it definitely, he definitely does fight a person, but I feel like that's in Kunlun. And so Chad is maybe saying that's, that's what real. I don't remember that. Dude, I don't remember that either at all, at all. Is that oh that's when Danny and Davos fight because they connect them with that that cloth between the two and I think whoever wins this decides who goes and fights the dragon. Is that what um, happens? No, if you I if I remember correctly the the dragon fight thing took place in It's in a cave, but this is the fight to see yeah. who's going to go fight the dragon between Danny and Davos. They basically say like this is a fight Doesn't to the Davos death. Davos win? Uh no, I think Danny wins, but he doesn't. Oh kill him. no, Danny does that thing. He does the Captain America thing where he's like, "I can do this all day." He like gets the shit kicked out of him. <clears> They're like, "And that's why he should be the Iron Fist." It's like, what? That's a terrible reason. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. They're like Davos. You're too angry. I feel like <laughs> if anyone ever asks, "Hey, is Iron Fist any good?" I'm just gonna show them this image. <laughs> And be like, bro, if you think this looks dope as shit, have at it. You'll probably love the show. Because <laughs> otherwise, it's bad. It's a bad, it's a bad situation. You don't want to check it out. You don't want to check it out. I kind of want that to be my Twitter avatar now. You know, no. I no. Like, I want this to be my Twitter. Look at that. What a shot. Oh, my God. What a shot. I you know, that kind that, of that... makes me think of, like, another reason, like, that this show just, like, like, now that we have something like Shang-Chi and we know, like, what how we could get. Could, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's interesting how they turned every piece, like, the Orientalism in this show is actually astounding. Like, every cool thing about Eastern tradition, they turned into, like, a trope or some fucking weirdness. Like, even, like, Madame Gao talking about feng shui. In like his oh, yeah. office, like, she walks in and puts the plant into, down like, and be like, "Oh, the feng shui is so bad in your office, Danny." Yeah, <laughs> like it's like a throwaway comment. Like yeah. you just want to say, "Oh yeah, remember she's Asian." And then like the amount of times <laughs> uh, by the end, the word "sensei" after the last four episodes, I couldn't even hear it anymore. Oh, they started like, saying you know, it so much when they go to the compound. They start saying it so much, like he's my sensei, Colleen's my sensei, you're my sensei. I have to, you're gonna do this to your sensei, and I was like. But we haven't had a conversation of like, what does it mean yeah. to be a sensei? Like, the audience isn't equipped. Like, what? Like, we didn't have a conversation. Like, what does it mean? Does it just mean you're a martial arts teacher? Like, what? What significance does that hold? Like, to the point that Colleen has difficulty fighting Bakudo and then decides to take him one on one because he's her sensei. But yet, we never dive into like, what does it mean to be someone's sensei? Like, are you a spiritual leader? Are you a? Are you a combatant? Like, what does that mean? They never address it. And the same thing with Chi. Now, I don't know a lot about Chi, but I remember reading articles about this when when the live action Mulan came out. Yeah. Because in the animated Mulan, they never talk about Chi. It's it's I don't it's never discussed. Like she's just a girl who, you know, Fights. kind of dresses up or disguises herself as a boy, and she trains and she struggles. When she goes to that military camp, she gets her ass whooped. You know. Yeah. And she has to like catch they up. They had to sing her but song movie, to get her straight. Yeah. 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 In the in the movie, they did this whole bit where she has so much chi. She has so much chi. And I was reading some Twitter threads on it. And I was 
like reading some articles about it and I'm not like fully equipped to like describe what it is, but like basically from what I read, it's like saying someone has lots of blood. Like only women have blood or only men have blood, but Mulan is different because she's a woman and she has blood. That's kind of what it means if you say only men have chi, but Mulan is different because she's a woman and she has chi. It's like, well, everyone has chi and everyone has like this like energy running through them. So like sitting there and saying like, oh, well, D Danny can h harness his chi and Danny's chi is damaged. His chi is broken. I think it would have made more sense if they had just said like, instead of using that as a throwaway line or as a trope, they could have like been like, he's having difficulty concentrating. Like That's he's, what he's two emotionally is. anguished, you know, yeah. he's traumatized. That would be a good word. You know, like he's, he's gone through so much. Like he <clears throat> can't, he can't clear his mind and meditate anymore. And that could have been an interesting arc, but they turn it into like a mechanic, like, like Jedi force power. Where it's like yeah. he severed his connection to the force. Grogu can no longer <laughs> commune with it because he's cut off his connection. They try to do that. They and do I'm that like, Grogu, why? Grogu, do you want to wear this armor or do you want to have a lightsaber, <laughs> Grogu? I can't believe that they <laughs> AI'd real. his voice. That's real. Grogu. Yeah. By the way, I sent you a, a photo, JP, of season two. Bronze. Tell me this does not look like a scene from Succession. This has, like, these are the <laughs> villains in season two. They're like, find me the ancient uh, box, and let's dress really good when we do. Even, like, what is going on with Davos? Where did he get that suit? She gives That's him all the money. That's what I'm saying. She, she joy, gives him the money. She's like, she funds him. Yeah, she funds it him. Makes okay, but the idea of somebody that loves Kun Lun that much becoming a materialistic dickhead makes yes, no sense. Yes, it's insane. That's it's why insane. season like, two is he great. He seems like the last person because he is disgusted by Danny's lifestyle. Remember his reaction to pizza? Like I was like, no, this is a person that's like, listen, I lived, I lived in heaven. I lived in a monastery in heaven. He literally describes that. Like your goal is to protect heaven. And now he's like, hold up though. Hell has great suits. <laughs> it, someone it would be someone like in if, chat says that box looks like a cookie tin. <laughs> <laughs> It would be like if Mordo showed up in the new Doctor Strange movie and he was like wielding dark arts. It was like, look, I've taken time to think about this and you're totally right, Strange. Yeah. And he like has the exact same outfit and he's like, I really just in wanted to be you suit. the entire time. No, like in, he's in a Prada suit now and he's like, no. <laughs> the dark it's, arts it, makes it, you a lot of money. I've invested heavily into NFTs. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the background, <laughs> Madam Gal is like, oh. Plans are coming together. Well, wait, Madam your stupid fucking Madam Gal witch laugh is fucking cursed. Does I want to make it Gal like my die in the defenders. I don't. I think she's the remember. one that lives out of all of them. I don't remember I don't what think happens she to her. Ever die. She well, none the, of them can really die. The but, building yeah. collapses in the end. Yeah, and you think like a ton of characters die. And then over the course of every show after that, they're like, no, they're fine. They don't really they're mention like, a oh, lot okay. of the Defender stuff. They just say like, oh, yeah, you know what went down? That was crazy. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I mean, hey, Bronze, I don't, even though I'm sure you watched Daredevil, uh, Daredevil dies in Defenders? Yeah. Yeah. What? So, like. Yeah. yeah. He, he's dead at the end of the Defenders. Yeah, but I, I think Daredevil's I, I dead. All three seasons of Daredevil, and I don't think is. Is there any season that takes place after Defenders? Season three. Yeah. Does. Season three. That's why. At the do they even of, address it in season yes, three? Yes, they do. That's that's why at the beginning of season three, like they basically act like he's dead. Yeah. Karen and all them are like, God, I can't believe he's dead. Like I, he's gone. I can't believe it. I and just then, thought then he, he went shows dark up in the church. Yeah, yeah, I just he thought he up. went dark for a while, and they assumed he was dead. I didn't think that they had actually had him die off camera. Like yeah. having no, well, no he, it he isn't dies like on camera. Somebody... It isn't even die off okay. camera. He and Electra battle to the like as a building is collapsing around them and on they just them. die. Yeah, yeah, they die. So the the plot of Defenders, do you want me to just tell you what happens? Yeah. The plot of Defenders is that the hand, Madame Gal, Bakudo, uh, and there's a there's a fighter guy, but he's kind of like whatever. Uh, but he's like another, he's like a main ver villain of the hand. And then uh, the like leader of the hand is Sigourney Weaver, right? 
and Sigourney Weaver gets her head cut off or some shit pretty early on in the show, like oh, episode yeah, like, four or three. Like real early. Yeah, yeah. She gets betrayed. And the hand is basically trying to get back to Kun Lun by finding dragons that are buried underneath this tower and mining the dragons so that they can return to Kung Lun because they were outcast a millennia ago or something like that. They were all citizens of Kung Lun. And so they go down, they take this giant elevator down, the defenders do. They like have this crazy fight where they're like, they show dragon bones and all this shit. And uh, Daredevil like says, okay, I got to do this. I, I'm, I'm going to be the savior here. It says like, fuck off. Danny. Because because Electra, Electra is still alive. Yeah, because Electra like, gets resurrected. Gotta... Yeah, and it's bad. She's she becomes he... you know the the devil of the hand, the leader of the hand, like she is in the comics. Um, because Sigourney Weaver dies, and so then they battle together. The building crashes on top of them. Everyone's like, "Oh, Daredevil's gone. It's so bad." And then at the end of the Defenders, he wakes up in the church, uh, and that's where season three starts for Daredevil, which is the next show. And that's uh, that's the Defenders. Yeah. From the point of view of somebody that never watched Defenders but watched all of Daredevil, I feel like the way my brain interpreted his death was just that he went off the grid because season two of Daredevil ends with him with Elektra's death. Yeah. And he seems very distraught by that. It's also very clear that he chooses Elektra over Karen Page. There is not yes. a moment in there that they're like he very clearly is like. Yo, you cute, but Electra though. And so um, I, I interpreted that. You got to say her last name. It's Electra Nachios. Okay. Nachos. Not Nachios. <laughs> it, I have such a hard time not saying Nachos. I mean, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. That's why I love it. Elect it electric it nachos, nachos are my favorite. <laughs> I love electric Nachos. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, after she dies, and then you pick up season three, having never watched Defenders, I just assumed that after she died, he went off the grid. No, no. And was like, okay, so he, okay, so that's why they thought he was dead. I, because I, because I then, did wonder that's why that. Wilson like, Fisk hired the and second. Karen really just thought he died. Yes, yeah, I was yeah. like, he, he, he went quiet for a few years, hung out in a church, and they really just thought he died. But no, he, everybody thought he died because he did die. Yes, every he did, he did canonically die. The building collapses on, like, they are deep underground we're and talking the like building collapses of, down uh, yeah <laughs> hundreds of floors collapses down hundreds of floors below and electra brutally murdered daredevil just fine yeah it's crazy to me stabs him but, a bunch with well size, you know what though you know what it could be maybe he got brought back to life by the pot thing and maybe that's why in season three he's so like savage because that's when they he destroy gets the, the pot though his fist. they destroy the pot uh, okay, I, I never think, mind. I think what happens. This is why I need to write these shows. Because I, because in season three, he is different, and he has like he starts wearing. I forget what it's called. Is it the, um, I forget what martial arts is from, but he starts wearing the ropes around his fists yeah. again. Oh, and yeah. just beating the ever living fuck out of people. He's much crazy. Now Electra like, died, and he loves Electra. He lost everything. Yeah, no, that's why. I would he love everything. Really done that. I would have been like, no, he, the pot resurrected him, and now he's like actually the, the the devil of Hell's Kitchen. Like he's got a little bit of a dark streak now. I would have done that. Yeah. Army Marvel, the same. Yes. Anyways, that's Iron Anyways, Fist. Anyways, let's never one. do that again. Let's never let's never do that again. Tune let's never in try for uh, April, where we'll be watching season two of. Uh, no, we won't. Maybe. Don't, <laughs> don't even speak it into a existence. April. Will be still Moon Knight. How many episodes of Moon, Moon Knight are we getting? Is that six or We're going to watch Moon Knight. It's going to be great. Have. We're going to have Oscar Isaac greatness. It's only six it's episodes. Amazing. Yeah, it's only six episodes. Holy hey. shit. Why can't we get 13 like we did of this stupid fucking show? Because Disney Plus makes... Hello, Disney? Di Hello? <laughs> Disney makes uh, movies and then cuts them into six episodes. That's how they do their... Uh, they do that. They do their... They that. Make a show. Yeah. Give me 12 episodes. Give me a fucking season. This six episode nonsense. Dude, I don't like I'll it. I'll be real honest. I was watching, when I was watching Iron Fist last night, I would be like, some crazy plot bomb would happen, right? In the episode. Be like, man, this hmm. episode's almost over. 
I'd look over. We're 20 minutes into 60. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, how the hell are you going to give us 12 hours? I understand that that's made by Netflix, whereas, like, the other show is made by Disney. But I, I don't like this whole, like, Hawkeye. It was so clearly a movie turned into a show. Um, yeah, yeah. I, mean, they I, all I don't like of. that formula. Like, I, I loved a lot of the shows that they've put out, especially Loki. But I wanted to feel like a show. Yeah. And for that reason, I think I the only it. one that truly felt show like was uh Cap uh, yeah, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Captain America and Winter Soldier. Yeah. That was the one that to me felt like a show, even though the last two episodes of that clearly seemed very rushed and it seems like they had to do a lot of writing changes because of the pandemic. But it still felt more like a TV show. I kind of hope that Moon Knight feels like a TV show. I'm really mad we're only getting six episodes, though. I really wish we were getting 10 to 12. I think that would be fair. True. We could, uh, you know, we don't, there's nothing out between now and the 30th, really. Have you guys ever watched The Runaways? No, I. I read no. the comic. I, if, I'm, if I'm remembering The Runaways correctly, The Runaways is where they figure out that, like, all of, where the their kids are, are good villains. and their parents are basically like satanic worshipers or some shit, right? That's the Runaways. Yeah, they're they're like super villains. We could walk. I mean, if you guys want, how many episodes are there? There's uh, there's a let. There's ten episodes of season one. It's on Hulu. Do you guys have Hulu? I have Hulu. Yeah, we could check. We it could out. also watch Legion. Now Legion is a motherfucking show. Jesse, have you seen yeah. Legion? No. Oh, I feel like Legion. Here's the thing. Here, Here's the thing about Legion, though. Legion has, for whatever reason, the scariest fucking bad guy villain in, in a long time that I've ever watched. <laughs> I think we should watch Legion. That way we, we have like a good Legion. show. Le Legion. And I believe good. that's also on Hulu. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of Legion. How many episodes is Legion? Is it one season? It's I want to say Legion got three seasons. Yeah, I only watched the first season, but it was from what I remember, don't lambast me too hard if it's bad. From what I remember, it was really good. No, it's a very good show. It's an incredible show. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I remember watching like the first three episodes and loving them because it's Jesse. so different yeah. from any other like comic book show. Here here's here's the pitch for Legion. Legion uh -huh. is do you know anything about the character? Legion's nope. one of he's the. He's son. Uh, no, he's Professor X's son. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Wait. Yes. He's, oh my gosh. He's the son you're of right. Professor X in the comics. He's he's one of he's he's in a Omega level threat. He's one of the strongest mutants in the comics, and the show gotcha. basically kind of like hints towards a lot of that. But another thing about the show is that there is an entire fight scene that takes place within the astral universe where two people have a dance-off to 70s jazz. <laughs> All right, I'll watch it. <laughs> it, it, is a, it. It is a... It has Aubrey Plaza. She's in it. Uh, and it's also kind of... Season one is a little bit fucked up in terms of, like, scariness. Um, and I don't want to say anything else after that, because if you've never seen it before, it's definitely a wild ride. There's, uh, I mean, I'm totally in. I, I was just looking at Moon Knight information based on the six episodes, because I always like to see who the writers are and who is like in charge of these episodes. And it's interesting to see that for Moon Knight, most of the writers are people that have worked on other Marvel shows and or Umbrella Academy. Uh, which I think is interesting. That's interesting. But yeah, but the thing I think is super crazy is the writing credits for episode six are every, like almost every single person from the previous five episodes. And then it says based on a story by Dan Yellamon and Jeremy Slater, who are writers on previous episodes. And now I'm really interested to see if that means the final episode is what they pitched as like this is what Moon Knight can be. Could be. And then everything leads up to that. So like the story bit is that because that makes me pretty excited for like a pretty wild final episode. If like this is who Moon Knight is, 
this is how crazy shit gets. If like that's where it's leading, do you I think they're going to take a big swing, kind of like Loki did? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think it's going to open up. I think they're going to open up Blade. The they're going to be there's going to be they vampires. There's going to be wild shit. They did not cast Oscar Isaac to have him be a minor character. Right. You, do you know what I mean? That man has star power. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I, I agree with Jesse. I think they're going to take a big swing and try to get him on the big screen. Because you do not cast Oscar Isaac with no intention of having him be in a feature film. Like that's, yeah. like he, he puts butts in seats. I wonder if that last episode is straight up going to be like. My mom my literally is... said from the kitchen, my mom's like, he puts my butt in a seat. <laughs> <laughs> there we go the seal of approval can that be a thing can we just have like bronze's mom's take on x oh my god can you take your mom to the movies with you uh for like any mcu stuff in the future i don't know mom do you like mcu stuff it doesn't matter she says yeah yeah i mean she can hate it it's still be funny go and like give us your reactions on whether or not it's stupid or you like it wait, wait who's your favorite mcu character My mom said, Chris Evans, is he MCU? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah go, go mom! Mom, 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 mom. She gets mom, that mom, helicopter mom. holding scene every day. Hell yeah, she's like, my, my she's mom's so cute. Helicopter. My mom's like, here, I got you this mug for your for your MCU show. She's like, you can use that on your MCU show. <laughs> I love yes. it. Yes. I love it. Yes. And I said, thanks, mom. It's topical. <clears throat> it's topical, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, uh, to you, but it's yeah. topical. It's true. Okay, do we want to do? Here's the thing: we could actually watch Legion. If we start Legion for next week, it's eight episodes for season one. We could do two a week, and it'd be good for Moon Knight. It, it would track for Let's Moon Knight. I think. Let me let Let's me do it. verify I think, that. Jesse, I think you're gonna love it. I know, I kind of know your Knight, taste. The posters now. look trippy. I don't know what the hell the show is for Legion. No, You've I think not, you're gonna love it. You know nothing Thank about Legion. Le- Legion, not a like, damn thing. A remarkably good show. Here's the what thing. I do know is the 2010 movie Legion that features an angel with a machine gun and that's, a knife. That's also a good movie. <laughs> that's also a good movie. Uh, that movie's great. That movie's fantastic. Uh, Legion was on FX as well, so they it's very uh, gory and uh, scary. Jesse, great. here's my only thing that I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, and this goes for everyone else that is doing a watch along. If you're watching Legion with us, don't pay pay attention to the show. But look in the scenes, in every scene. Just look around. Just look around. That's all I'm going to say. And we'll see what happens if you see anything after the first okay. two episodes. All right. Yeah. Every every scene has something in it. Most scenes have something in it where you won't see it unless you're looking for it. Yeah, that show was made with a lot of love. Yeah. And... Yeah. If you were at all worried about being scared, season one is very scary. Uh, if you see, oh all this yeah, shit. I would probably put a trigger warning. Yes. Yeah, There's, it's not like it's not like other like MCU shows. It's, it's not, not feel good stuff. There's the some part fucked of Marvel. Up shit. Yeah, yeah, the characters part of Marvel, <laughs> but the but the uh, show isn't. I'm excited. So. I didn't realize Jesse never watched Legion. No, it's a. I haven't seen it in a long time, so I'm excited too. Bronze, should I tell him the bad guy's name so he could see a photo, or should we just watch, let him watch? No, nope, okay. don't spoil nothing. Don't, don't I don't spoil even need nothing. To tell him the premise of the character. Okay. Yeah, because like, I think like season one and season or episode one and episode two is a wild ride. So that's great. I'm excited. That's exciting. Uh, you can watch it on Hulu. You'll need a Hulu subscription, I believe, to uh, to check it out. But We'll watch episode one, episode two. Uh, Jesse, I would actually say maybe make it a note in my calendar to watch it this week. Record yourself, uh, perhaps on your phone. Watching me, watching the end of episode one and episode two. (laughs) Great, done. All right, I'll send it. You can use the clips however you want. I'll just live. I'll film. I'll just put a camera on on me and yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's interesting. Done. Alicia. That's interesting. All right, let's do some shout outs and uh and wrap up the show. Bronze, why don't you go first? What do you got going on? Where can people check you out? Hi, hello. Um, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash that bronze girl and on Twitter at the same spot. Uh, I'm gonna try to stream some Elden Ring tonight. I haven't streamed in a week. 
I don't even know if I have a channel left. I don't even know if there's anything there. It's the longest amount of time I've taken off from my stream, but it's not that I'm taking it off. It's that I'm in LA shooting a super secret project. So at some point you might see me hang out with Jesse while I'm here, if he can take time out of his busy schedule. And yeah, I'm just working this week and fitting in streams around that. Um, Loved sitting down to do MCU crew today, though. This is this is a lot of fun. Shitting on a, uh, knowing that Iron Fist is over, that's all I needed out of this week. So, man, that's me. I'm not lying. When last night I realized I had to watch five hours and it was nine o'clock, and I looked at Aaron and said, "Honey, I love you, but I got to go do some stuff I don't want to do. And I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to be back before you're asleep." And she goes, "What the fuck are you, you going to go like kill a man?" I said, "I'm going to want to after I'm done." <laughs> I felt like Thanos. I was like, it is done. Yeah. You sat, <laughs> sat down in a farm. It's <laughs> just I watched did. the drop scrub. <laughs> I did. I was like, it is done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Jesse, what do you got going on? Do some shout outs. Oh man. Uh shout out to Bronze's mom for liking Captain America, making the right choice. <laughs> Go Bronze's mom. Uh yeah, uh, I guess, I don't know, here in however many minutes, I'm going to start up this Guild Wars 2 stream and jump back into the game. A new Wait. expansion just launched today, so that's going to happen. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm excited to, even though it's not MCU, like Batman, that's hype as hell. So I'm ready for that. That's my uh, that's my week. So. Should be good. We'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll get a quick review from you next week on, on the Bats. Mm -hmm. i feel like you're gonna be one to talk i never realized that you had not seen legion and also that legion is the most jesse cox show i can think of yes i didn't like i'm, uh, I'm telling you jesse's gonna love it it's gonna be jesse's favorite show yeah he's he's gonna right. want him he's gonna want legion to be the thing is he can't he's just too strong but <laughs> like, he's gonna sure. want him to be in the show <laughs> or the Wait, before, like real quick super quick i was told yesterday that people either have Joker energy or Batman energy. Okay. Like every person and every actor. Uh -huh. so I gotta, I gotta ask of of us. Who do you think has Joker energy? Who do you think has Batman energy? Jesse's Joker. Um. Whoa, 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 100%. whoa! Bronze is Batman. I I've always thought of myself more as a uh, like Poison Ivy. Like, come up and see me sometime, Batman. Yeah. And then, like, plants attack no, you. That's, but, Joker like, that's Joker energy. No, that's Joker energy. That's right there. That's Joker, that's Joker energy. Yeah, that's Joker Fine. energy. I don't know which one I am. I, I legitimately don't know if I side either way. So You're I'm more like Commissioner you. Gordon energy. <laughs> you do have Commissioner Gordon energy. He does have Commissioner Gordon said, energy. He said everybody has one or the other. They didn't I account know. for Commissioner <laughs> Gordon energy. I know. <laughs> Because I feel like you would be sitting there tired of both of their shit. You'd be like, honestly, yeah. I'm over the Joker. But this Batman guy meeting this asshole on rooftops, I'm kind of over that shit, too. I have a <laughs> family, Batman. <laughs> like, I got, I got kids to take oh, care of. Oh, hold on. Sonata in my chat comes through with, I think, the proper answer. JP is Bruce in Batman Beyond. Yes. So I've got Batman But that's energy. Batman energy. It's Batman energy. That's Batman energy. energy. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I'm I'm Batman. I'm done with this shit energy. That's true. That's true. That? We have two Batmans and a Joker. Two Batmans and a Joker. Oh wait, which which Batman are you then, Bronze? I think you're Ger George Clooney Batman. I yeah, mean, I, I can see Bronze dressing up in like Batman, but I know I'm not Keaton Batman. Uh, only Keaton is Keaton Batman. Uh, uh, you know yeah. what? Here's the problem. I don't see Bronze dressing up in a bat suit with nipples on it. <laughs> but I do see you, Val Kilmer, Batman. Oh, I think God you're Val Kilmer, it. Batman. Val Kilmer, wait, Val Kilmer's a good, he's not a bad Batman. Yeah, he's not a bad Batman. I just he's see you as Val Kilmer, Clooney. Batman. Oh, Clooney oh, yeah. was better the worst. Clooney. Clooney was fucking awful. As long as I'm not Christian Bale, Batman. Well, that, that means you're a badass, but you have no personality. And you definitely are a badass with a So I try like this. Yeah. All the time. My mom says I'd be a Robert yeah. Pattinson Batman. You know, I could actually We don't see know that. that yet. You guys both have the dark eyes, you know? This we don't know she, that yet. she said I'm brooding. 
Yeah. Just call me emo Ooh, mom. Your mom got you. Your Get her mom. Said, Get her mom. He said, he said, Get her strong mom. and brooding. I, I, I do kind of despair a lot. No, you're you, right, mom. I am. How do you feel about vengeance? <laughs> Would you say that you're the knight every once in a while? Yeah, how do you feel about vengeance? <laughs> I feel like I would say I have to keep my hands dirty so other people can keep their hands clean. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 big patents and energy. Yeah. I think I so watched sure. I watched uh I watched that vampire movie. That's huge patents and energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That checks out. That checks out. Big pet? <laughs> that's yeah, when you <laughs> big pet? <laughs> when you go out in the sun, you sparkle. I get it. I know how it works. <laughs> big pet? <laughs> Okay, but then she doesn't. You know what? She actually you are, Jesse. You're Jack Nicholson. Don't, or no, yeah. not one hundred percent. Oh Jack. yeah, no, I'm yes. definitely yeah. like Jack Joker. You're my number one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stripping, <laughs> stripping. <laughs> however, if we go, if you want someone with like Ledger Joker, that's that's stripping in my opinion. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. No, I I definitely yeah. have, in fact said to someone you and i are like beauty and the beast but if anyone else calls you beast i'll kill him 100 percent. that is a yeah oh i'm definitely nicholson yeah at least and i'm not a 60s think, joker right i still, still have a don't mustache. think you have joker energy no he knows he's Ooh. got joker energy oh you. i know i do oh yeah, yeah. okay yeah. i just always wanted to be more of a poison ivy you know what i mean like <laughs> hold on hold on chat hello boy chat is once again correct jesse has adam west joker energy and that's correct. Adam was jo- like the Joker from the 60s Joker that still has the mustache under the makeup. That's, that's correct. fine. That's, that's correct. fine. He's like, oh, welcome, Batman. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sure. Whatever. Same thing. Same. Thing. <laughs> I try to like kill him with a it's shark. It's a horrifying and a big mom. image, but that's, that's just. Right <laughs> he still has the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That is my man right there. Yeah. I love that this guy was like, they're like, hey, you're going to play a Joker. And he's like, okay, but I'm not shaving my mustache. Yeah. Just put makeup on it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's it, guys. We got to get out of here. Jess has got some Guild Wars to play. <laughs> Bron's going to go I'll hang get out you with her mom. <laughs> Yeah. We're done. Easy. Legion, first two episodes, season one. It's on Hulu. We'll talk about it next week. I think everyone's, if you haven't seen Legion, you're in for a, a wild ride. It's It's good time. And just watch everything on the screen. Don't just pay attention to the the actors. That's all I'm gonna say. Get I ready don't know for what Spook that Spook. means. You, I, I can't wait. To talk. I'm actually very excited for you to watch Legion. That was a great okay. uh, bronze. I think that was your suggestion. Bravo. Ten out of ten. Can't wait. That's next week. We're out of here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you then. Bye bye. <laughs>